Welcome back, Commander. All right, boss. I've been dreaming about this since I was a zone runner back in Sarajevo. GDI is protecting the White House with a small force I can handle myself. Hard part will be dealing with all the reinforcements they'll fly in to protect the precious little tourist trap. When you clear out GDI, do me a favor. Hang a nod banner in the Oval Office. But I thought taking out Andrews Air Force Base prevented this. Incoming transmission. Where they at? An important GDI administration building is located to the north. Destroy it to provoke a response of GDI forces in this region. I got some. Maybe the rationale is that these are happening at the same time. Let's go find. Let's work together. New bonus objective. The White House is a frankly simpler mission than the last one. However, we do already have access to the attack bike, which makes it a little different. has entrusted me. Intelligence data updated. The Brotherhood has entrusted me. Let's work together. Building captured. Intelligence data updated. This bike's ready. It is vulnerable. Training. This bike's ready. The other difference here is that we have a much easier time at getting the resources we'll eventually need. Unit this bike's attack. ready. Got the rockets. Lost. Do it quick. Go ahead. We got the rockets. There was a mention that these levels do more to incentivize the player to use infantry, but frankly, having the buggy and and bike available right away kind of neutralizes that, in my opinion. Let's go on a raid. Unless you really want to garrison troops, you. you can kind of skip them. Unit Let's under go attack. Move it. Hear the words of Cain. Our time is at hand. Where are they at? Now, we saw in the GDI prologue mission that uh, we have the, or the game has the ability to expand the map, as we've seen in previous titles, and this one puts it to good use as well. It's also interesting to note that the Nod Saboteur can be promoted, likely because they can plant demolition charges. I haven't tested it yet just because I haven't played GDI. I'm pretty sure that GDI engineers may only get to via crate, and even then they might refuse to use it. It seems that there are limitations to uh, a unit's movement if it goes near a veterancy crate. It'll just always go around. Had I known, I probably wouldn't dilly-dally so much. We'll see exactly why. As soon as I destroy the building, anyways. Right now, I just want to make sure that I get the bonus objectives before they disappear or something might happen. Building captured. Bonus objective complete. Let's go find him. Where's the next raid? Let's go! They won't keep up. This ought to get GDI's attention. Enemy I units sighted. Incoming transmission. Right here. The White House is held by a few GDI production structures. Destroy them and surrounding GDI forces to capture the White House in the name of Nod. They will go in. Raider here. Unit under attack. Where's the next raid? I figured I'd go around, try to attack from the flank, you know, make it a little fancy. It doesn't really matter all that much. Frankly, one of the main reasons I did so was to destroy the power plants. The GDI response team's coming fast. They'll be using V-35s for an aerial assault, so I'd get some serious anti-air ready if I were you. Commander, reinforcements approach. AJ, like, other than the fanatics and the militants, Everybody's anti-air. I think we have that covered. New bonus objective. No 
They will keep up. But yeah, my plan was to attack from the flank and destroy the power plants. And then, you know, once the defenses are down, it just makes it easier. It also should slow down, technically, should slow down GDI's production. But uh, I needed to destroy these bonus objectives instead. Commander, reinforcements approach from the southeast. Where's the next raid? We've already seen the effectiveness of attack bikes and buggies against uh, orcas and such, and you're kind of just getting another lesson in uh, how efficient they can be at that. Let's go on a raid. I got something for them. It's also pretty important to note that you will want to focus on getting vehicles rather than infantry just because while these orcas do move slowly, if you aren't placed properly, you just won't catch them. I got something for them. Training. Unit under attack. There is a slight criticism to bring to this game as well, at least this level. They truly do a lot. Too much, in fact, for the reinforcements and the threat of them. It's interesting to see that, you know, the different missions kind of play off each other. You want to take out Andrew's Air Force Base because it's supposed to do something for this level, even though not, not really. Um, but then here, you know, you have a bonus objective of destroying five transports. Approaches from the east. Ready to go. Oh, more reinforcements. Like, there doesn't seem to be a, uh, a justifiable reason to destroy five transports if you're going to have, you know, six of them, or ten of them, or twelve of them. It just seems a little weird. Obviously, there's going to be something regarding the fact that I'm on a, diff a higher difficulty, so that's probably why there's increased waves or increased numbers at the very least. But again, it seems like a pretty big mismatch. A reinforcement approaches from the north. I think if you're trying to teach the player to mass forces and um, be wary of special objectives, especially on an easier mission like this, you probably should have a bonus objective that's a little bit more demanding. No extra charge. If anything, because you're going to be more likely going to be playing this uh, multiple times, either because it's an early mission, so if you're playing through the campaign again and you don't get tired of it, that sort of stuff, it's just not that tough to deal with. Kind of in a departure a little bit. Um, you can't target any of the White House. You can't. It has no life bar. It can't be destroyed, which I think is kind of strange considering past games. Commander, the last of the GDI Ox transports arrives from the south. And seriously, they're giving us another wave in the south. It's just more like. They could have ended this three waves ago, and it would be fine for timing. Going back to the whole monuments thing and the White House not being able to destroy it, it's just a strange departure from prior games where they would include it, and destroying it gave you bonuses, regardless of if it was tasteful or not to destroy those buildings. According to radar, GDI shot their wad. They got no more reinforcements coming. So put the pedal to the metal and finish off the rest of their forces. Their forces in this case being one command post. I'm not quite sure what happens if you destroy the base first. I guess you might fail a bonus objective or something. Or you just never get the message from AJ. I don't know. 